trying to see me in the morning. I sent the tip back. Stop what you're doing. Come over. Come over. Come over. What's good, Sharkin? It's your girl, Sharkin. <laughs> back again with another day with you. Feel me? Yeah. And today, y'all got my friend, Denaya here. Yeah. AKA. Denaya. And y'all. So today, y'all, we doing a Q and A. As y'all can tell by the title, we're doing a little Q and A to get to know us a little bit better. Cause I've been gone for a while, y'all. So you know, I gotta had to come back with it. You feel me? So I'm a. So now you're gonna introduce herself a little bit because y'all don't yeah, really know her. Channel, so. Yeah, she knows yeah. the channel. She's not gonna be in a lot of videos because I, I don't beat her that much. But she'll be in some videos. Like when I do post, she might be in them. She might not. Depending. So go ahead and I introduce you yourself. Okay, my real name is Denaya, but people call me Naya because like that. My favorite color purple. I'm 14. I'm gonna be 15 November 5th, and I'm in ninth grade. That's pretty much. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get right into these questions real quick because like I really got school tomorrow, so I really yeah, need to be going to school. Week, <laughs> but we gonna get into these questions. Okay. You can ask the first question. So somebody said, what's your favorite hobby or pastime? My favorite hobby? To be on the phone and playing basketball. Like, I can do that all day. My favorite hobby is cooking. I can do that all day. Personally, it's good. Thank you. Uh, can, you can you share a childhood memory that has stuck with you? A childhood memory that has stuck with me is so my dad's girlfriend well ex-girlfriend but girlfriend well was it current well at the time it was his current girlfriend they had her and my ac they had to do the bloody mary prank and they made it seem like bloody mary was coming to get us when we were asleep and i screamed and i cried that whole night and that would stay with me forever because i remember it and it was so scary they had us running around the house like three-year-olds like i swear that junk was even funny but i was like seven or nine but yeah, it was so funny. It was scary, but it was funny. Oh wow. A childhood memory that will forever stick with me is I remember I was younger and I was getting ready to go um to do this actually. Just got shower, just got dressed with my teeth, did my hair all that got cute. Thought I was the stuff. Thought I was the stuff. Coming outside, tell me why. Me and my mom we finna get in the car and leave. And my mom, my boyfriend and my little brother came outside with buckets of water and poured it on us. I was mad. We had a whole water fight, whatever you want to call it, outside. Like, we just kept running the house getting water, throwing water balloons at each other. Like, yeah. It, it was crazy. And that was forever sick to me. Because that made me so mm. mad that day. Like, I, my outfit was so cute. And I was so ready to wear it for the next day. And it got ruined. That's so I had to wear something else. And well, I don't even think I went to my dentist appointment that day. We have to reschedule it. That's messed up. Because <laughs> I got wet. Y'all don't mind my hair. I'm getting done with this day. Yeah, my <clears throat> hair is. It was. They can't even see your hair. Anywho, what's your favorite book or movie and why? I have two of those. My you favorite. You want to go first? Yeah, don't mind. Yeah, sure. Um, my favorite book series is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I don't got a favorite movie, but Diary of a Wimpy Kid, it's just a cool book to read. I, I don't really read books like that. So, I mean, that series is just a good series to me. And then, like I said, I don't got a favorite movie. Okay, my favorite book, little series, because it's a series book, because I don't read just one book. I read the whole thing. But it's Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Why? <laughs> And I'm so mad because I should have went first, but then y'all would have thought that she copying off of me. But now y'all probably think I'm copying off her. No, that's not the case. I've been, I got so many diary of kid, kid mm. books at home. I swear to God, they oh, all in my, no, oh God, they all in my granny closet. But what well, I'm saying, I read every single one of them, and I love diary. It's like I don't know, it's just chill. You feel me? It's really funny, it especially. Is funny. And then no, my favorite movies, diary of the kid, like diary of the kid movies. Them, I used to watch them all the it's, time. It's kind of not gonna lie, cause I now understand, cause like my teacher would be like, some the book is different from a movie. They so right, cause the diary of the Wimpy Kid is. book do not be showing all that stuff they do in that movie, and right. I be, I just be having to imagine it. But it's cool. I love diary of the Wimpy Kid. It's, it's a cool. Who your favorite character? I like Roderick. I like Roderick too. I like He's funny. Gr yeah, Roderick funny. No, but what's his name? What's his best friend name? Howie. Yeah, Howie. Or Howard. Or something. <laughs> Oh, Rowley, Rowley. Rowley. Yeah. Rowley. 
Yeah, Riley. What the hell? He is funny. That nigga get her in every series. Yeah, like, that don't make Riley, no sense. Riley, and then it's uh, Greg, Gregory, and then it's the little brother, Manny. Yeah, Manny. Manny, Manny is so, bad. so funny. Oh, my God, he's bad. That don't make no sense. Yeah. And then Greg... That, that don't make no sense. Right. Honestly. You just He's just the main character. Yeah, he the main character, but he get, like, the mo- he get the least amount of hate. Right. Like, he get so much hate. Like, girl, that school don't want him. Right. And he got the tease sucks with his mask. Right. Mm-mm. Um, and yeah. Um, somebody said, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. Yes. If I could travel anywhere in the world, it would be probably... Hawaii because Hawaii yes because I don't go my family like the far as I ever been is Grand Rapids <laughs> cause mom and them they don't I don't know they scared cause I'm scared to get on the plane so therefore anything that got to do with a plane I'm not getting on the plane to go anywhere so we got to travel we got to drive in the car since I don't like getting on the planes that's why my my options of going places is so small cause I don't like getting on planes so but yeah I want to go there because it's like Hawaii, that's that is a cool or the Bahamas. Hawaii or the Bahamas. Yeah. Because them places look so cool. Even though I don't like water, but like I get in like I just relax in the water, you know, just on the beach. Then I get to be on a beach in a beach house and you know, I just get to wake up in the morning looking right, at the nice at the water. water the like it's you know, it's, it's so cool. Pretty. So like yeah, I wanna go there. I just don't wanna get on no plane. <laughs> well you gotta get on the plane to get there. You but can't I'm, drive because it's too far. I'm gonna drive. Yeah. I can't drive no way because I still gotta get on the plane to cross to get to Hawaii because I gotta get on the plane to cross to get to the island. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so a place I would like to go if I could travel anywhere, a place I would like to go is Bora Bora. Bora Bora is so pretty. It looks so relaxing. The water is crystal clear blue. It's just pretty. It looks so fun and chill. That's somewhere I always want to go. Or Dubai. Dubai, yes. I want to go to Dubai. Du- Dubai is a pretty place. And I want to go to Dubai. Dubai is actually nice. But no, Dubai actually, no, they had that. They had got a fire up and down there. And they had burnt oil on people's houses down. And I felt so bad. Mm-hmm. I watched it on the YouTube video because, as y'all know, I watched Not Enough Nelson. Shout out to them. Because y'all need to go check their channel. That, that channel is a bomb. But I be watching them, and they went to Dubai, and I think that I felt so bad for them people. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, I be a Okay. Person. What's something about you that might surprise people? We can go first. What is something about me that might surprise people? Um, that I can cook. Because I'm only 14. And at the age of 14, I know how to make a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff. And... I never knew that I would grow up just to be cooking, but I mean, I did. But yeah, that's something. That's something I feel like people will be surprised about. about something that people will be surprised about is I know how to fight because. I don't fight. I'm not one of those people that just fight just to fight. Like, most of my friends, they'll fight just because they want to fight. But see me, I don't fight nobody. So, like, and it's been a long time since I haven't gotten to a fight since the second grade. What you making that side <laughs> for? I can see you. What? Mm. What? That's since the second grade. Yeah, I got. I haven't gotten to a fight since second grade. Mm. Well, I got second name of grade. I got to a fight mm. in. Okay. Now she got me thinking because I'm trying to think. I haven't. I haven't gotten to a fight in middle school or element other than second grade. Mm. My last fight was, I think, a couple months ago. But people, they swear I can't fight. And I just feel like if I fought somebody one day, like, they'll really be surprised on how good I can fight. But only reason I don't fight is because there's no point. I don't see the purpose. Like, it's no point in fighting for real. Like, I, it's nothing I'm proving. Because if I lose, then I just lose. If I win, then it's, what is I'm proving? That I know how to fight. That's so lame. But my brother said it's not nothing wrong with that, so I don't really care. People say I don't know how to fight. I don't really be giving a crap. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, next question. What's your go-to comfort food or guilty pleasure snack? Oh, my go-to? McDonald's. We're going to McDonald's. I need a Big Mac meal or a large, <laughs> like large so Big bad. Mac. I need a large Big Mac meal with a Coke. And my snack, y'all already know this, bro. Kit Kat, bro. Give me a Kit Kat. And that's it. That's all I need. 
when I need I need y'all to comment down below what's your favorite chocolate because Kit Kat is not it. It is it's not all that. Girl, Kit Kat's the one. I prefer a Snickers or a Hershey. A Snickers is nasty. Who wants no, to eat a Snickers? Not. A Hershey, this okay, is, listen, Hershey's and Kit Kat's, do my problem. Hershey, Kit Kat's, and Twix, do my to goes right there. I can get either one of those, but a Snickers. I'm not going to go into the store and say, oh, I want a Snickers. Who said that? Okay, like, go get all a Kit Kat. Would be McDonald's, a number one, and a Sprite. Which is a big snack meal. Yeah, a big snack meal. And then a snack, I would say for me, is my go-to which is a hershey some some yeah some quick. peach rings some hot ruffles and a purple clip drink i'm just gonna say that yeah anywho but yeah if y'all ever want to send me anything that just know that's something i want you're right <laughs> next to me i can hear everything you're saying don't say nothing y'all nothing don't don't make me don't make me that okay do you have any hidden talents or skills no. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't think I have any because I feel like everything I did is not hidden anymore because everybody knows, like everybody knows who right. I am. I'm the basketball player. Like, come on, I know I do everything. No, I would say some hidden talent is in my basketball because people think since I'm a girl, mainly boys think because I'm a girl I can't play basketball. And then when I get on that basketball court, they be they be looking all surprised. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hidden legs like I'm what? hidden legs like I'm Michael Jordan out here. Like what? Stop yeah, I'm not a hidden talent or no hidden skills. <clears throat> okay, what's one thing on your bucket list that you hope to accomplish someday? Okay, I had a so I didn't make a bucket list this year because my friend Casey made a bucket list this year and she didn't do not one of them things. But for next year, for next year summer, one of my things on my bucket list is to take a trip with my friends. Like I actually want to take a friends trip with my friends because I'm tired of being in where I live at because I want to take a trip. And I don't know where we're going to go. But I will be 16, so I have my license, which means I can drive. So, yeah, yada, yada. So, for my birthday, just know. Y'all, for my birthday, just know. Something crazy coming. But Okay, so for me, I don't have a bucket list. I don't make bucket lists. I just plan on what I want to do for the summer. So, since I didn't get to do nothing really this summer, next summer, I want to go to a water park. And I want to go to a fair. I didn't get to do that this summer because my friend... I'm not gonna bring up no names. We were supposed to do it. We were supposed to do everything this summer, according to her. We were supposed to do everything as a little group, but we didn't. So therefore, I just had a boring old summer. I'm not gonna lie, it was boring just a little. What? Girl, we did not have a boring summer. We turned up. What is you talking about? It was a little boring. It was a little I mean, boring. it was kind of boring because we didn't really go nowhere. But, like, still, we had fun. When we did go out, it was fun, though. Yeah, it was fun. This summer, I enjoyed it was myself. a little dry. Yeah, uh, but I'm next summer, to next watch next summer, I swear. Popping out, y'all. Right, that's, out when gonna, that's when y'all gonna really get my videos because that's when I'm really gonna start posting. She might be in them, but she be yeah. camera shy, so. Not yeah. really. Okay, can you share a... How do you say that? Defining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can you share a defining moment or experience that shaped who you are today? So, what do they mean by that? Like, mm -hmm. like what do they mean? Mm -hmm. Defining. Like, can you share a defining moment or experience that should shape who you are today? Oh, meaning like, what's something? I don't know if I'm saying this right. Like, maybe something that you did that defines you now to this day that shaped you like made you what who you are today What's i something? feel like something that okay okay so something that i'm just gonna say maybe something that made me who i am today is probably basketball and my family and all the support i get from them and like some of my friends and stuff because did they say why i gotta say why do i gotta yeah. say why they didn't say that and it was that? No, it no, no, don't say why. I don't gotta tell you um, why. Something who made me who I am today is my little sister. Like, yeah, it's been my family and my friends and stuff, but all of them, out of everybody, it's been my little sister because that little girl, she just brings something to me that don't nobody else bring. Just all the love, even though she only two, all the love she gives me. What's your favorite season and why? Oh, winter. Winter is my favorite season because, like, y'all, 
mind you, I'm a winter baby. So, girl, and then y'all, Texas be hitting around my birthday. So, you know what I mean? And then, then hold on, then Valentine's Day come right, right after that. And mind y'all, Christmas is two months before my birthday. So, think about it, Christmas. Oh, uh, then you talk about my birthday. Then you talk about uh, Valentine. <laughs> like, what, girl? Winter. Man, winter game. Com comment down, winter. If you're in winter, comment it down below. Okay, my favorite season is summertime because that's when I get to be outside. That's when I get to have fun. That's when I get to be lit. Do me wear sundress. Y'all know, for the girlies, y'all know sundress season. Sundress season. That means season right there, sundress season. So, summer is my favorite, even though Christmas is my favorite holiday. And I love winter, like all the snow, everything. But summer got that one right there. So, nah, winter summer day. is my favorite. No, hey, y'all, comment, comment down below what's y'all favorite season. Mine is winter. Mine summer. Because winter, like, think about it, y'all. Think about, just think about that order, though. Like, you get, you get, Okay, listen, yeah, but it's listen. not your birthday. It's not everybody else's birthday, though. Okay, listen, I know. I understand. Christmas and Valentine's Day for them. Listen, but y'all, for me, y'all see why winter <laughs> my favorite. Because, look, Christmas. Two months, two months after that. No, really a month after that, because December, then January, then Maybe February. New Year's, but still. Oh, yeah, and then New Year. Well, New Year's, I don't really do nothing. I'll sit in the house. And say happy yeah. new year's and we got most yeah. all of that. But like think about it. like come on now, y'all stop playing. Anyway. But not for real though. Summer summer go hard, I don't care. Even though it'd be hot, but Okay, I think y'all this gonna be an emotional question here. I might start crying. Okay, if you could have dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be and why? So you wanna go first or you want me to go first? Oh um so you wanna go first? Yeah, I go first. All right. I if I can crying. have dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? So I'm going to take dead, which is my grandma. She died before I got to meet her. So, yeah, I would have, <laughs> I would have dinner with her. Can you not laugh? <laughs> no, it's just, you keep looking down. Because I'm trying not to cry. No, nah, you're not going to cry. But no, nah, for real, no, I would have dinner with her. So, yeah. <laughs> what about you? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm trying um, to laugh it off. Like I'm, I'm really trying. To laugh I'm it. gonna cry. Can you stop? Idiot. Somebody I will have. It's two people. Ooh, two okay. people. My dad is my dad, Granny, Grandma Jeanette, and my dad, Granny Annie. Because, um, for my dad, my Granny Jeanette, I feel like I didn't get to spend that much time with her. Because okay, stop, stop so I can finish. I didn't get to spend that much time with her because I was so young. And then for my granny Annie, it's because it was this one time me and my cousin Naya, we actually stay at my granny Annie house. But my granny Annie is super like little, so like she can't really you you know like well not little, but she just can't move as much, so she can't really cook for us as, as much as and stuff. But my, me and I, we tried to tell my granny my dad, like, we can do, like, we can make our own food. And my granny was like, no. Nah. And then I just remember, like, a week after that, she ended up passing. Like, I just, you know, I kind of felt bad. But I would want to have dinner with them just because I feel like they didn't get the, the whole experience. And I feel like uh, they're looking over me today and they see how beautiful and brave I became. It took me a while to get over that, but, you know, we got we to move on. Okay, what's one piece of advice you would give to your younger self? Please go first. One piece of advice I would give to my younger self to keep going, no matter no matter what nobody tell you, just keep going, keep pushing. God got a plan for you. Okay. Um, some advice I would tell my younger self is to always attempt and work hard to accomplish your goals. Like anything you got going in life, like it don't matter if you're going through anything or. You just having a rough time in that moment. Just continue to be yourself. Don't change for nobody. And just follow your dreams and your goals and accomplish them. Okay, y'all, we got two more questions left, so we don't just get one. Okay, can you describe your perfect day from start to finish? This one will take forever. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, a perfect day for me... It says describe really it. It says from start to finish. From start to finish. I don't really feel like saying all that. We're going to make it quick. So in the morning, what makes a perfect day is I get up, go to the bathroom, I got to pee, whatever I got to do, brush my teeth, wash my face. Then I come back and lay down for a couple of minutes, get on my phone. Um, People will call me. I'm going to be on the phone with them. Then I get up, I get a shower, get dressed. I might go outside for a little bit, come back in, 
watch TV, lay down till it's time for the next day. And I just watch TV. And after that, I get in the shower again. Uh, put my pajamas on. Um, lotion up or whatever. Lay down, watch TV, eat. Then, yeah. And then set my laundry stuff first. Oh, it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm there. So when I wake up, I'm like, mine's gonna be super cool. I wake up, you feel me? I brush my teeth, wash my face, boom, get that out the way. We put on some clothes, boom, 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 head outside, because y'all know I'm not doing the type of kid that's in the house all day. Like, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go outside. Go outside, tell y'all already know what I'm doing outside. Playing basketball on the phone. I'll be on the phone playing basketball. Like, and I do all this outside. I'll be on my phone. So I put my phone up there, or watch me play basketball. They'll be talking to me, got my headphones in. And before y'all say that that's a bad thing, no, it's not because actually my basketball hoop is in the back of the, the back of the driveway. So like, and the car just be all the way up. So nine times ten, I can still see. Um, so. And what the heck? Oh, I can still see something like that. Boom! After that, I go to my so I got a friend that lives down the street from my dream. Boom! Go to my friend's house for a couple hours. I don't get back to the house till like seven. I come back at like seven, play a little bit more basketball, go in the house. Watching the um watching my phone, yada yada on the phone, whatever I'm doing on my phone. I eat some, I go hop in the shower real quick, I get out, I eat something again because I'll be hungry. Mm -hmm. And then I drink me something. I'll have a water bottle next to me because I'll be thirsty. I'll be waking up in the middle of the night, be thirsty. So yeah. And I just lay down and then I don't really got a time I specifically go to sleep. It's just I lay down and I just I just go to sleep. Sometimes I'll be on the phone, sometimes I'm not on the phone. It depends on who called me or who don't. And that's kind of my perfect day. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do some more question questions or you want to or just you want to just be the last one? It don't matter. Y'all don't know. Because the video is 21 minutes long, so like, I don't know. Do y'all want it to be long for guys? Mm -hmm. We could do that. I mean, you don't got a YouTube channel, but like, yeah, I don't necessarily be answering the question, but we can do that in the next video. Mm -hmm. So this is your last. Question. Okay, y'all. So this is gonna be our last question. So, mm -hmm. so how do you like to spend your free time when you're not working or studying? So for one, I want to say I don't have a job yet. So we're gonna get one though. We're getting one. We're getting together. But like when I'm not studying, my free time really consists of me being on my phone or like taking a little nap, you know, something just to get me energized for when I actually do have to do the stuff and stuff like that. Okay, so I don't have a job either. So, um, so what I do in my free time because I study but not like that. So what I do in my free time, which okay. I get free time literally every single day, except for four days. Yeah, except for days. So what I do in my free time is I basically just be on my phone. If I'm hungry, I cook me something. Sometimes watch TV. That's pretty much I just be chilling. I don't really do nothing major on my free time. So y'all, that was the last question, and I'm gonna let her end off her video. Oh, I have one question, one more question to ask us. Okay, for the young followers that follow me, I wanna ask. You, well, I'm well, we going I'm gonna end. Well, this for y'all to answer to us, but I'm gonna answer to y'all. But the question is, what is something that expires? Uh, that expires. Uh, how you expire? Yeah, how, that expires. Expires. Why do I keep saying expires? <laughs> expires. Okay. Yeah, that that word. Feel stupid. Okay. No, what inspired y'all to do what y'all do and get up every morning to do what y'all do? Let me go first. Yes. What inspires me is my little sister. Like I said, my little sister. She just, she just so lovable and caring. She just keep me going. I mean, don't get me wrong. My family do too. Like they're very supportive, but I feel like my little sister. I'm more closest to her. And she only two. So you can go. You're so actually party. <laughs> okay, I think something that keeps me going every single day and every single night is my, 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 like, my. Me. No, dude. <laughs> oh, she wanted to be. Anywho. Don't start. No, I think it's 
it was really just my grind. Like my grind. Uh, my grind is so hard. Like I love my grind. And I also love the fact that I can get up every day, even if I'm going through something. I can, nobody could ever know what I'm going through because I just keep it, like, you know, I keep it on the down low, you feel me? I just still get up, do what I got to do. Because at the end of the day, I still got a goal that I want to complete, and my goal is to be a basketball player. So at the end of the day, I'm going to keep getting up every day. Even when life gets hard, tough, I'm going to get up every day, and I'm going to keep that grind. So now for y'all, I want y'all to ask me. Well, I want y'all to tell me what keep y'all going every day, and what get y'all up and get y'all pumping. Because you feel me? Like, I need to know. Let me get some. <laughs> Let me get some questions from y'all. And I see if y'all want to see her in another YouTube video, comment down below. Do you like being in my YouTube videos? Yeah. You think they cool? Yeah. So if y'all want to be, if y'all want to see her in another YouTube video, comment down below. And I mean, that's the end of the video, right? Mhm. Mm so mm -hmm. I want you to do my outro. Yo, outro. Yeah, do it. All right, y'all. Well, I might be in the next video. I don't know for sure. But like I said. Before okay, she taking some. No, like I said, right in this video, my Instagram is exclusive dot underscore dot negative. Die. Negative. Instead of like E, put a three negative. word. You know, it's your girl night. Stop playing, and I'm out, shawty.